Some Fetigo is in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so polite because I'm so English. Markably intuitive and gifted wizard. And he makes a fabulous Mr. cup Osric of tea. <laughs> oh, she gonna start speaking snake? Holy shit! Hang on. Gee, I never would have thought to do that. Seriously? I get put in a school and this is my welcome committee? <laughs> Parachutes don't exist yet! It's only 1865! Looks like absinthe. Yeah, let's get fucked up! You are the child of destiny! Nice. Now I get to blow shit up. Yahoo! Blow a topicus. I'm gonna make up my own magic words. Biggest dickus. Incontinentia buttocks. Poopalus jupitus. Boobity jupity. Biggest dickus. Biggity dickity. It's not working. Joe Biden. Uh oh. Are we gonna have to fight these guys? It's Leviosa. Not Leviosa. Saw. Potato. Behold my wizardry. Poopify. Hey oh. Bitch. This is Hogwarts Legacy. This is the game that people voted they wanted me to play. I'm actually recording this after I started the tutorial and stuff, but I figured I'd begin the video itself by showing you, like, the main character creation stuff. Right now, this is my character. I named her Mildred Hubble, and I still wonder if anybody knows where that comes from. Ah! Just getting smacked in the face by books! Okay, so I'm gonna click on new character to just showcase the options you have. And it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's really cute that it begins with that famous letter. And excuse me while I do the very uh, exaggerated English accent. <clears throat> we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at the Hogwarts School... Hogwarts? School of Witchcraft and Wizardry! As a fifth year student, I'm already fucking this up. <laughs> Term begins of the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies are collected and you will accompany on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic. Blah, 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 blah. Turns of service bullshit. Sign here with your blood. I'm just kidding. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliza Fig. Elysia? I already forgot how to pronounce his name. To help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley. Oh, yeah, that's written by Professor Weasley. A woman, deputy headmistress. All right, so enough of that. Here is the character creation menu. And being spoiled as I am from playing Dragon's Dogma and Skyrim and stuff, it's a little limited, but there's quite there's a, uh, quite a few options. So these are all the presets. You got pretty much every ethnic group you can think of. Dudes and chicks and dudes and chicks with uh, Tumblr haircuts, in fact. You can even make a... Someone who looks... <laughs> Somebody looks a little extra woke, if you know what I mean. Which is funny. Uh, didn't want to bring it up, but I can't help it. I saw videos of people saying, Ew! You have to pick between witch and a uh, wizard and witch! Gender binary! Nee, 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 nee. JK Rowling, she's a cunt! Nee, nee, nee. And it's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Anyway, so I'll just pick the default chick on the top left for now. Uh, to show you the different... Uh, Faces. Not a whole lot to choose from, but they're all pretty cute. I, as far as I understand, this character you're playing is in high school. I think she's like 16 or 17. I'll show the male options too in a minute. It'll just start with female. So yeah, you can't really choose like the size of the eyes or anything, but thankfully most of these presets are pretty good looking. They're just limited, you know, and skin color. Pretty much every tone, but that's as pale as it gets, which is weird, because that looks pretty tanned. I'm, I'm very, very, very pale, so I'm used to, like... Oh, I forgot you. Yeah, it just gets darker, darker, darker. Oh, different... There we go. Different pigments. You can pick, uh, pick your spe uh, spectacles. Look like Harry Potter himself. Or a professor. Or a hipster. I'm sure there's going to be more options later in the game. And hairstyles. I love the hair in this game so far. I'm just... I'll, uh, let's see. I'll pick, like, a reddish color or blonde, I guess, or I'll, I'll start like a different color and then and show the styles and change the color. We'll just do light brown. So, so this game apparently takes place in the 1800s, which is cool. So it's way before Harry Potter. So it's cool because I'm not that knowledgeable in Harry Potter. So it, it, it doesn't, you don't have to like really know anything to enjoy the game. 
I like that messy bun, and then there's like a nice neat bun. There's like a cute little curly hair. I love this, the wild hair. Looks kind of 80s, but looks cute. Fuzzy bun, I guess. Nice, pretty, wavy hair. Even bigger, messy bun that's a little more European looking. I like this too. A lot of these hairs remind me of Red Dead Redemption, but then again, that game takes place in the 1800s as well. Yeah, that's pretty hip. That's definitely an 1800s updo. That's pretty cute. These all look really good, and they move, and the hair texture, the shining, it looks really nice. The shininess, I mean. Yeah, nice big bun. And you got afros. A uh, devilishly handsome do not a big fan of that one. It's kind of cute. Nice little... Just, yeah, there's lots of options. I can't really think of nicknames for all these. Ooh. Now you got like a... Teen heartthrob or some shit. I like that one. That'd be cute on a dude. Even though it's a little exaggerated. Oh, hell yeah. Now we gotta look like a punker, kinda? Or a tumbler? I say Tumblr because, you know, all the snowflakes that have to have edgy haircuts like that. And yeah, these are pretty cute, actually. Yeah, cornrows. Gotta have some cornrows. Gotta have lots of variety for every ethnic group. I like that, because, you know, a lot of hair hairstyles and games are kind of boring. That is super cute. I like that. But it doesn't look very 1800s, but who cares? Neither do, neither do the uh, hairstyles for the... I mean, the hair colors. That's cute. That's cute, too. That's like a pixie cut. And of course, you can be bald. I think this one's my favorite so far. At least for the girls. Yeah, I get some dreadlocks. And another- oh, cornrows with a butt with a bun. I- for years, I used to say corn roll- corn rolls. It's rows, like rows of corn, not corn rolls. I'm an idiot. Corn roll sounds like a like a type of cornbread. Delicious. Okay, so here's the colors. We got gray, white, you got like platinum white, you look like somebody from Game of Thrones, and you got sandy br sandy blonde, brown hair, yellowish hair, red. Quite a, quite a few options. And then you can start looking like a you know, like somebody from <laughs> like an anime or something. You got purple, you got green, you got blue. A lot of options. There's purple, blue, and green. I got yeah. I can't really think of any colors they're missing here, so that's cool. Uh, and now you've got complexion, so you can either have oops, you can have uh, I have to get used to this menu. You can have like more uh, sun sun kissed skin or be kind of rough. Oh, I noticed that gives you like a. That'd be cool if I make a character that's like really evil or something. I could, you know, make their eyes look kind of sunk, like with darker, maybe red eyes. And then you got freckles and moles, which are cute. Freckles and moles. Just a few little options. And then, of course, you got scars. Unfortunately, you don't get the scar that Harry Potter has on his forehead. Ooh, that's a nasty scar. That's pretty cool. I do love facial scars, but on my character, I chose not to give her any. I didn't think they were very fitting for her particular character. That's cool. They look like- this looks like it hurt! Ow! I always like scars like that on the eyebrow. And of course, one across the eye. That's always a favorite of mine. Probably more fitting for a dude. A male character. And you got eye color. Lots of different eye colors to choose from. Got, like... Blues and browns, that's pretty. I'm pretty sure I can change my character appearance later, like a glamour or something. I want to make her eyes a little lighter. I tried to make them like a dark blue, but I chose a color that made it look a little too dark so you can't tell that they're blue. You got lavender, ooh. Very pretty, lots of choices. And then the eyebrow colors, just like the hair colors. Basically any color you want. My advice, just like I said in my video where I help you make a pretty femme shep, is just kind of stick to a light brown, despite what kind of hair color you got. Even if you have, like, blonde, unless you, like, want to look like an albino or something. So, eyebrows, 
eh, not a big fan of most of them. They're a little too bushy for my taste. Or they look evil. It's like, you look mean. If you want, like, a... And that, that's kind of cute, but, again, kind of bushy. I, I wish they were a little bit thinner, but not too thin. There's, like, there's not really much in between. You either look like a bitch, or you look like a wimp, or you look like somebody with really, really big, bushy eyebrows. In between. Bitchiness, wimpiness, with bushy eyebrows. So, that's about it. Oh, my God. Groucho Marx. Or no, you can have no eyebrows, and I don't think anybody looks good without eyebrows. Or a unibrow, yeah. Nothing more attractive than- Oh, See, I like those little marks on there, but like I said, they're just a little too thick. But whatever. The default ones are probably the best ones. So that is for the female, and then you got your last menu here, which you pick one of two voices. You get a male voice or a female. Voice one is the male. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Wow, she sounds very butch. Oh, or voice two. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. And the voice acting is excellent. I really like both. So, I think it's best to keep it in the default, even though you can change the pitch, but if you listen carefully... I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. They increase the pitch, but it, it creates a bit of a distortion that sounds kind of like she's inside of a tunnel or something. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. It's a shame they didn't just- I mean, it probably would take it forever, but it's a shame they just didn't pick different actors for each t uh, pitch. I'm e I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That one doesn't sound too bad, but yeah, default seems the best. Dust. Nothing to be concerned about. So I'll make a male character so you can get a better idea. Ooh, he's good looking. Uh, then we can just look at the hairs real quick. Oh, actually, let's do the pre the, the facial presets. What the fuck, dude? The men are so good. Oh, except for- he's okay. Most of the men, their faces are really good looking. Is that weird? Because these- these are supposed to be teenagers. Never mind. They're good looking, but they're- yeah, they're too young for me. I just gotta pretend- like in the movies, it's always like 20-somethings that play teenagers, so these look more like 20-somethings. At least the men do. Hunka hunka hunka. Okay, so there's your dudes and the hair the hairstyles. You can pick any hairstyle for any character, which is cool. I always hated that sometimes there'd be like hairstyles specifically for women and men, and you can't mix and match them. But not in this one. I don't know anybody who would have their hair like that in the 1800s. Well, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Fabio. Some of the female hairs look kind of ridiculous on dudes. But, hey, to each his own. You can make any- pretty much any kind of character you want. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I'm so edgy. Unfortunately, no facial hair. I guess uh, either facial hair is not, <laughs> not allowed in Hogwarts, or these kids are too young for facial hair. It doesn't strike me. I don't know. That actually looks pretty good on dudes. Uh, too bad it's not flowing, like, natural hair. Yeah, that's... What's that hairdo I really liked? Now oh, that looks pretty cool. Where's a hairdo that was a little messier? Like a... Short hair with... No. That's a hairdo that's popular now among younger guys, and I hate it. I think it looks ridiculous. That looks pretty good. I can't remember what it was. Ooh, I like that. I like anything with a little bit of bangs hanging down. It's pretty cute. I'll definitely have to make a male wizard. But yeah, here's your uh, preset voices. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It sounds even worse on the male presets. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Ugh. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Yeah, that's much better. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. He doesn't look like a teenager to me. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. He looks like a very attractive 20-something, but just like that in the movies. Something. Yeah, so you pick witch or wizard. That is your female or male, despite people saying, you don't get to pick a gender, ha ha ha, fuck that. Fuck you, JK Rowling, but it's like, dude, witch, wizard, that's basically the gender. And you, you know, but you, whatever, you can have a chick with a male voice or a, or a dude with a female voice, like, it doesn't matter. A few cobwebs and some dust, <laughs> nothing to be concerned about. I would assume that that was a glamour, like it's a woman underneath, but has like a dude 
like as a disguise <laughs> with that voice. But anyway, I there's your uh that I could very well be And then you type in a name. And if you haven't seen it yet, but I'm <laughs> this is stupid. Biggest I wonder if, if this game has like censorship, I doubt it. Biggest dickus. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just the name displayed in the game, and this is a single-player game, so... Yeah, so that's it for the, uh... The customization menu. Oh, hell yeah. Ah! It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well... I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you. So I'm poor already. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Who the hell are you? Oh, <laughs> Eleazar, George. Well, that's how you Batman pronounce his name. The cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! All right, as food! your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along? Not at all, sir. After you. I'm so polite because I'm so English. I've been to the castle. So this takes place in the 1800s, I guess. Rocks. This is way before Harry Potter. Oh, <laughs> not a promising start. Unless, wait, wait, wait. Is that a glitch? Oh, okay. Is there supposed to be horses? I've seen a glitch like that in Red Dead Redemption. Whoa, what the hell was that? It's like, is that a glitch or was he pantomiming riding horses? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look it up because I honestly don't know. <laughs> Warner Brothers Games presents... Avalanche. That's not the name of the game. Uh, maybe that is the name of the game, no. Port Key Wizarding World. Very epic. Okay, I guess there is no horses. I could have sworn I saw horses in the front. Try my imagination. You left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? Unnamed character. Student. Yeah, you can't say my name because I had to type it in. Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. And he makes a fabulous cup of tea. He's prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm not saying I've much. Seen this. I don't want to interrupt because I've never played this. Ooh, I love those moving I have pictures and newspapers. As to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Who the fuck Although is Ranrock? I get to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. Is there drugs inside? I open it. 
Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I, I don't see, see any glow. glow. I knew he was going to say that. Not She's really magical. Like... You're just making that up for attention, aren't you? She going to start speaking snake like Harry? Merlin's beard. Uh, Merlin's we... beard. We did. I knew something was going down. She lo Ooh. Holy shit. Hang on. Gee, I never would have thought to do that. Jesus Christ! She's like, seriously? I get put in a school and this is how- this is my welcome committee? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is Game of Thrones all of a sudden. Yeah. Parachutes don't exist yet! It's only 1865! Anybody have a parachute spell? Oh no, not the key! Give me your hand. Oh shit! Nice. That was pretty awesome, actually. Very action-packed. I knew it was not just gonna be a boring little ride to the school. Oh, you get a little squirrel. Oh, it's so cute, I'm sure something's gonna kill it. Right? Maybe not. Uh, That's good. Uh, you're hurt. Perhaps a bit. My health meter is at the bottom. Take I can this. see it. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. <laughs> Looks like absinthe. Yeah, let's get fucked up! God, I'm so jealous of all the easy spells what and everything happens? they have. Poor George. I can't believe he... Yeah, nobody will miss what him. We don't even know who he was. Damn thing. Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... That was an assassination attempt, wasn't it? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Well, the game's very pretty. This is on PS5, by the way. Ooh, can I live here, please? Except I'm afraid of heights. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Oh, hell yeah. I want to be in Scotland. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. You are the child of if destiny! You're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me. I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Uh, this looks like a very obvious path. The My path to Hogwarts. Step. Mind your step. Gee, I should jump off the bar. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. God, she's running in ancient heels. Magic. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Oh, jeez, I thought he jumped off the cliff. <laughs> Oh Hogwarts man, I want to live here. Built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. 
Oh, see, the gamer in me is looking at but, but areas so, that why was your wife looks like hidden areas of lost magic? to pick up loot. Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Ooh, it's a spell on the wall, right? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. You don't say. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Yay! Focus on the center. My first spell to perform a basic cast, R2. Uh, just tap it. Nice. Can't wait to blow some shit up. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relative targeting. Now I'll mess with the settings later. I'll just stick to doing everything default through the tutorial. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Nice. Now I get to blow shit up. Yahoo! Pottery. Blow a topicus. That's the spell for blow it up. I just made that up. I'm gonna make up my own magic words. Even though I love the magic words in the Harry Potter. Biggest dickus! We're close now, it's just ahead. Incontinentia buttocks! Come on, I want more pottery to blow up. I'm very easily entertained, can you tell? Steal yourself for combat, Prepare child of destiny! Ooh! You can't wait to get me some badass wizard gear. Or witch gear, in her case. When I look at his name, Professor Fig, I expect his last name to be Almost Newton. There. Fig Newton. Poopalus Jupitus. Focus Pookus. Instead of Hocus Pocus, it's Focus Pookus. Poopity Jupity Poofs. Okay, that's enough. Built this I suspect they valued their privacy. That privacy led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Yeah, I think all the pottery is out of place. Biggest biggest. Poop is jupus. All right. Boopity jupity. Pookity poo, cock a doo, and so on. Okay, that's enough. Um, he wants me to go. Oh, it's like painfully obvious. Do I have to climb up here? Doesn't look like I can. Whoa. I have to get used to the controls. They're they're fluid, but ooh, can I blow it? <laughs> What's this? Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. <laughs> Merlin's beard. <laughs> Great Scott, dude! I'm totally gonna be not making fun of the way English people talk. I just I love the way in the Victorian era the way people talk with their, they're that just so polite and well spoken. Again. But what could it be blocking? Only one way to find out. Biggest dickus, biggest dickus. Dickus, dickus, biggity dickity. It's not working. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's him. <laughs> How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone? Biggest, dickus, biggest, dickus. Open up. Is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the portkey container. What's- I don't see any glow, only the child of destiny can. 
i.e. me. What in Merlin's name? Merlin! Godric's heart. <laughs> Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? <laughs> A goblin banker? <clears throat> Wake up, bitch! Use your wand! <clears throat> Joe Biden. It can't be. Oh, but it is. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. What are you doing under there? Are you decent? Should we leave? Oh. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. Trying to act like they know what the hell's going on. It's like, this be natural. Way, she smiles a lot. I would be confused and nervous, but okay. Ooh, I like that. That looks like fun. It's like a badass steampunk minecart. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh hell yeah. Everything in this game in the series looks fun. Ooh. In fact, we'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vicious now of the east. Our private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both. Arranged for such a service. Oh, dude, that's like the most badass ride. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experience the thief's downfall before, have you? Perfect. These are the love vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in, we've quite a distance to go. That'll be 5,000 pounds each. Pay the toll. Vault number. He looks friendly. Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. Well, thank you very much! <laughs> it's just like, what, made, what crawled up his ass and died? Oh my god, is that a leprechaun? Oh, was that the same guy? Bank in a massive cave. Here we are. Can we do it again? That was fun. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A Pick a stick of stuff. Stationed at my <laughs> desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Biggest stick of stuff. Biggest stick of stuff. Wait, what's this? Ooh, a chest. Oh, come on, I want to open that. 
The game's like, no, tutorial first, bitch. Don't be looting. Bolt 12. Thank you for your help. Ooh, is there gold and goodies? What's in here? Some gold! Yay! Now let me some loot! Biggest Stigus! Hit the little goblin guy. Biggest Stigus! Damn. No friendly fire. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might- The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Wait a minute! No! We're trapped! Best of luck. Best of luck! Professor? That was certainly unexpected. You guys Let were taking this way too... There <laughs> must be something here. Way too easily. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, jeez. Okay. Steady your wand and guide it along the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted. <laughs> That's cool. A little Illuminati symbol at the bottom. Reveliolo! Revelio. Reve there, Revelio? I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. Bigger stickers! It's the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Stand aside. This is the job for the chosen one! Lumos. Oh god, yeah. I love the this is illuminating no spell. Vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Biggest diggers! Biggest stickers! I can't help it. That's fun. Revelio. Your hair's kind of glowing in the dark, but that's okay. The Unreal Engine tends to have some texture stuff like that. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. What the hell is this? Lumos. What happened? The fuck? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. No one's going to talk about the frozen you guy under there? Cause the floor to change. That statue. There you go. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Dude, you're useless. You're blind! Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Trippy. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Well, hell yeah. Alright. Lumos! You've acquired the Wand Lightning Charm, Lumos, which has automatically been spotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light. Nice. R2 tap. Lumos. Well done. Now Yay! The is turning towards me. It does follow the light. It's like I'm on drugs. Biggest sticks. What was it again? R two and Lumos. 
Okay. Oh my god, it's moving! Kill it! Kill it! Biggest stickus! Lumos. Okay, knock it off. Now what? I keep thinking I'm gonna have to light torches or something. Revelio, maybe? Revelio. No. Okay. Lumos. There you go. Stand up. Ooh, pretty. Uh oh. Are we gonna have to fight these guys? Probably. We're doomed! Protego. Protego? That sounds like something you put on spaghetti. Descendo! It's like all I have are these wimpy spells, but okay. Oh god! Look out! Ooh! I don't have armor or anything. Biggest stickus! Biggest stickus! Biggest stickus! Biggest stickus! Biggest stickus! Biggest stickus! No! I don't know how to dodge. Potato! Ah, shit. Oh, Protego incoming enemy attack. Oh. Review your objectives. The game's like, you suck at this. Pay attention, damn it. Oh, fucking hell. Potato! Potato poopy! Oh shit, I didn't even know Get some drink on. Potato! Fuck you, biggest dickus! Biggest dickus! Levio poop! Ow! I've been playing too many different games. I'm getting the controls fucked up. I've been playing de oh. Death Stranding and fucking. No Man's Sky, Detroit Become Human, like, I'm- I'm getting all my controls mixed up. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa! Potato! Potato poopy deuce! Is that it? Yeah, bitch. Be gone, you'll get more of the same. Thank God I saved you. Professor Fig! Fig Professor, Newton! This isn't good. Where the hell did you go? go? You wimp! You ran out on me! What's big happening? pussy. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. It's funny, I was not even following them. I thought they were following me. Poopicus oh, Dupicus! Leading me. That glow again. That thing's not moving. Uh, what was that spell again? I suppose I'm on my own this time. Oh, great. Ooh, 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 is that a chest? Hell yeah, give me some loot! I love some loot! Ludibus Boopidus! Everything's a stupid magic spell. So I think that spell's gonna show me where... where there might be some goodies. That's good. Lumos. Okay, so this guy, I need to... Bring him to life, only to try to kill me, probably. Yep, he's gonna wake to up the align others. The statues with their reflections. Align the statues with their reflections? Oh, I see. Thanks for pointing that out, Mildred, because I don't think I would have figured that out on my own because I'm a dumbass. Okay. All right, you're next. Perhaps I need to get them all to stand at once. Get them to stand at once? How the hell do I do that? Uh, get them to stand at once. Oh, okay, you gotta stand. Okay, the beam, I see. The beams it are gonna make- I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Potato! Nice. Biggest, dickest, biggest! Biggest, dickest, potato! 
Potato, 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 hot potato. Yay! Potato poopy. Biggest, stiggity, biggity, big, big. I'll get. Oh, Lumos. That's not. I don't need a fucking light spell right now. Oof! Yeah, I'm mashing buttons. I've been playing too much Witcher, too. <laughs> like trying to dodge. Ah! There ain't no signs on the ground. I don't have no swords. Hey, knock it off. Pay attention. There we go. Potato! Hold a triangle during potato. <laughs> potato. To stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. <laughs> Stunned enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Okay. Hold triangle during potato. Got it. I know it's potato, but I'm gonna call it potato. Uh-oh. Potato stupid! Ah, shit. Cool, she's got combos, too. I better get the fuck- Oh, no! I'm dead! I was out of potions, too. Ah. Oh boy, I hope there was a quick save somewhere. Auto save? Okay, cool. Phew! Yeah, I, uh... You guys are probably watching me and be like, Dude, you suck! My game- Ooh! My gaming abilities aren't what they used to be. I should probably switch the difficulty. Poopify! Potato poopify! I can't see, damn it! Ugh. Yeah, later I'm gonna change the camera because it's a little slow. Poopify! Potato poopify! Biggest dickest. Poopify! Mm, 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 mm. Behold my wizardry! Poopify! Ooh. Potato poopify! Potato poopies! I don't know if you're getting tired of hearing that. Biggest, dickest combo! Uh, 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 K.O. Poopify, bitch! Oh shit! God damn it! Don't pull up Lumos, you idiot! Poopify! Uh, uh, uh. Mashing that button like I'm playing a fucking what game did I mash buttons? I don't know, like DMC or some shit. There we go! Yay! Yeah, let's get drunk. Lumos. All right. Could it be better, but I'm getting there. Oh, thanks for telling. Now I know the sprint button. Nice. In high heels. This girl is definitely full of magic. Professor Fig Newton, where are you at? Kingdom of Heaven, or perhaps Hell. In a way, I'm going in there. I have no choice. I'm the child of destiny. Ooh, is that the key? What is that? Drink me. Maybe it's maybe snort me. Ooh, I like that bottle. Can I keep it? It's pretty. There you are. How did you... What is this place? I Where the hell were you? But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive... A what? For viewing memories. I wonder... Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it! Hey, that's mine! I want to drink it! Follow my lead. <laughs> Dumbledore! No, that's not Dumbledore. I don't even know if Dumbledore's alive yet. I don't know how old wizards live, and I'm not that familiar with the Harry Potter lore. All is in place. You'll have to forgive me. The key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. 
I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. Clearly not. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. The child of Make destiny. We can. Gotta set my controller down for a minute. I'm cold. It's been so cold lately. I got cold feet. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. She didn't have the gift. And perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. The Chosen One! Ooh, looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. More fights? Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. The fuck Ramble. do you midgets want? Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. You're not and Voldemort. Why are you here? Acting so tough. No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. How about be gone, be be gone? <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. Bigger stickers. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to- I want that goblin's armor. Now I really want it. It glows and shit. Nice. Yeah, no one will miss him. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm you were gonna kidding. give me your armor I'm... and run away in fear. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Never! Poopify! Oh, God damn it! Goblins are- oh, Did you see her coat? It was all glitched. Oh, shit! I hope that's on our side. Holy shit. That's cool looking. Little bastard thinks he's Palpatine. Get up, you old fart. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, you might want to, yeah, move, damn it. No, I think I'll stand here and die for the sake of the plot, maybe? Oh no! Goodbye, old man. Okay, he's not dead. Damn, he lives. I'm just kidding. Whoop. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. He sold his soul to the magical Holy. devil. It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Oh, that music. Come. I'm so glad yeah, they put it in the game. To get to. Do, 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 do. Yay! So did I graduate it yet? <laughs> oh hell yeah. Why can't Hogwarts be a real place, god damn it? Yeah, 
Now, because of the movie Labyrinth, I absolutely love owls. Especially barn owls. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Wow. So I remember when I saw the Harry Potter movies, I remember thinking, like, man, if only we had a Harry Potter game that was, like, where you go to the school and learn how to do magic and shit. Like, that would be cool. And sure enough, they did. 20-something years later. <laughs> I even, I remember thinking, like, it'd be cool if you had, like, a wand and a speaker, and you'd have to, like, wave the wand and say the spell. But now that I have Carpal Tunnel and playing a game like Skyward Sword was absolutely excruciating to me, I'm like, nah, I'll stick to the sticks. <laughs> Thank you very much. But that would have been cool, but... Still, very cool game so far. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but... That seems more appropriate. Oh, hell yeah. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. I'll be sure to tell Thank everyone. You. Ready for the sorting ceremony? George died a coward, and we fell, nearly died, and I saved you. Got it. Yay! The hat! That really cool hat that talks. I only know this because of the movie. <laughs> I actually only made it to the Half-Blood Prince. At least while I'm recording this in the future. I'm sure my sister's gonna have me catch up on Phineas, all the Harry Potter movies. Jealous. All 25 Black. of them. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig! Nice of you to join us. A snooty bastard, I can tell already. Over. There were oh no, we're late. Complications. Complications. <laughs> it seems the goblin Enough. problem has... goblins. I know goblins. I'm sick, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. I like this guy already. <laughs> if you're lucky, patience I've had left. Able to get you sorted this evening. Pompous <clears throat> dickhole. I'll be in touch. Excuse me, sir, we were on an adventure. Someone nearly died. There were dragons and goblins and all kinds of craziness. Well, thank God we weren't late for the feast. I want some food. Holy shit, it's Harry Potter. Never mind. The glasses threw Professor me off. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Give me the hat, give me the hat, give Go. me the hat. You're just in time. Put it on my head. I got to see what school I'm going to. I'm gonna take a wild guess. Uh, I bet I'm gonna be in Ravenclaw. It's just a wild guess because I did a, a quiz a ah, long time ago yes. on a it's website. A bit older than the others, aren't you? Shut you up! Come here Not that with old. Preferences and preconceptions, certain expectations. She looks like she's really. Enjoying that hat being on her head. Okay, come here with preferences and preconceptions, certain expectations. I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Hmm. Explore, I guess. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Indeed. It looks Much like Oogie can Boogie. Be by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mmm. Mm. I wonder. Mmm. I detect something in you. He sounds a creepy. A sense of... Mmm. What is it? Are you trying to seduce this miner? Something in me. Sense of, uh, daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Hmm. Uh, curiosity. A desire to learn. I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Hmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others, and you've a ready mind, quick to learn. I have things to teach you. <laughs> that was just a wild guess, dude. That's funny. It's just a different house. 
Yeah, fuck it. Let's do Ravenclaw. That was just a wild guess, dude, because I just remember... You belong in Ravenclaw! Yay, I guess. I don't know if anybody likes Ravenclaw, but... Right on. Uh, that's the exact same outfit I was wearing, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't think it matters. Maybe it does. I don't know. One more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Okay, that's bullshit. Th I bet they're gonna add a Quidditch Enough. fucking DLC. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, like talk shit I about you. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Nobody finished their dinner, you dick. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. How rude. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice I wish I could well, say the same. Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. That was super cute. I thought there would be more questions from the hat. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. I do love ravens, so that works. You must riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. I'm actually not that good at riddles, so I'm probably gonna fuck this up. longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? Lived the longer? Ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Okay, she did it for me, thank god. She's smarter than I. Well done. Hooray! Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor. Collect me. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. She's very sweet. I like her. The headmaster, whatever. He's a pompous dick, but I love the way he talks. And he rocks the fuck out of that goatee. Oh, I want to live there. God damn it, it's so pretty. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Nice room, although I've seen what kind of room you get later in the game. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Aw, she's all smiles. I would be too, dude. I'd be fucking thrilled. I have to go upstairs, not downstairs. Okay. Can't wait to fly on my broom and shit. Have to wait for the right moment. Are those knights talking? Oh. Different. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. They're talking shit about me. Right Biggest dickus. Oh hell yeah. Mmm, breakfast. Samantha Dale. Who are you? Oh, somebody spawned in that chair there. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Who are you talking Great about? Golden gobstones. Gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Hell Samantha. Hell of a greeting. Is Dittany used in Wiganwild Potion? It is! Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. 
Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wigan World Potion. Of course! I heard of you course. were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. The movie with Nicole Kidman? He's quite knowledgeable. I wouldn't really know. I guess he's quite knowledgeable. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wig and Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Nice talking with you. <laughs> Goodbye. Isn't Hufflepuffs who likes plants? Do most students grow their own ingredients? Isn't it Hufflepuffs who like plants? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw. Oh, Hufflepuff is another Apparently, perhaps, class, duh. But it runs in my family. We've or whatever it's called. these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Ha 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 ha! That was cute. Uh, do most students grow their own ingredients? Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. <laughs> Their name and would be Garlic. Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. Professor Garlic. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. God, everybody's so polite and friendly. That's another reason I want to live there. I'll have another apple. Oh, I want one of the green ones. I like Granny Smith's better. Who are you? What's this? Oh. Just spin it around. Oh, with your wand? Spinity boo -doo 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 -doo. That's the only thing I could think of for a magic word. Is he eating popcorn? What is he doing? He's like... Oh, okay. I, I was like looking at his hand. He was doing a weird gesture. That's just brilliant, Amit. Brilliant. You'd think you could... Ah! That is not how that... Is he talking to himself? Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? That's a... Very forward come on. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. And Biggest Dickus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I recommend it, frankly. Sounds like he's from India. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Well, her name's not Professor Star. I find stars fascinating. I've never been one for stargazing. Eh, I'll be nice to him. He's adorkable. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. Schedule. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see Was you that a euphemism? Then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Are you seeing you? <laughs> Such a dork. I like him. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Boop! <laughs> Just have to wait for the right moment. Oh, that's this guy. Everett Clompton. He's gonna even be a bigger dork. Watch this. Really, what? dude? What is this? Oh my god, terrorist attack! <coughs> Dung bomb? <laughs> it's a poop bomb. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. So what he's the troublemaker. I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. Claw? I it, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. How do you know that? I'm actually a little nervous. Harrowing indeed. I'm still a bit on edge myself. And a little nervous for classes to start. Oh, you needn't be worried. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. 
Wait, <laughs> did you say most professors are firm but fair? Ha! <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. Limit. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bong back to I'll me. I'll slap you nice silly with you. your list. You too, Everett. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. Yeah, I'll make sure she waits as long as possible. Can I take the dung bomb with me? Why does it look like a little chocolate cupcake floating in the middle of the floor? Take us, take us. Ooh, I'd like some tea. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how I did that. I just walked into it and it broke. Whoops. Not a promising start for my first day in school. God damn it. There we go. Yeah, this I heard this game is a little buggy. It's brand new and I'm sure they're going to, you know, patch some things, but What's that spell? Oh. Something I can interact with. Is this a drinking fountain? What the fuck is this? Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I fucked up the wall! What's that spell again? The... I don't have a fire spell yet. People are like, why the fuck are you doing Loomis? It's broad daylight, you dumbass! Ha <laughs> noob! Oh, am I supposed to go down downstairs? Okay. Alright, goodbye losers! I'm off to graduate! Good morning! I ah, you scared me! First day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. The owls? 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 Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. <laughs> they will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. I love the way English people say extraordinary and scheduled. Here you are. The Necronomicon. I'm just gonna clean up all those pages. Oh. That looked like a Skyrim symbol. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Don't you have anything a little smaller and compact? Oh, never mind. <laughs> We like how we're going to fit that ah! but that thing moved. Do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Does it have a commendium? Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. So I'm like, I don't have pockets big enough. This way. Walk this way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Yeah, 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 blah blah blah. I'm not paying attention. Sorry, I'm listening. I'm listening. I prom. What happened to her dress just now? Whoa. I certainly would have appreciated something like blah, the blah, 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 blah. Stick us. Sorry, what? I wasn't listening. Hey, look, a bust. I'll bust the bust. You cast Revelio on this bust. Oh, it's funny. See what details the field guide can provide. It's looking at me. Oh my god, I changed my mind! I don't want to be at Hogwarts! That thing's scaring me! Ah, I want to go home! Alright, Lavario? Revelio. Or Revelio? Oh, Reveal! Revelio. Field guide page. Ah. The bust created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides in a lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Right on. Field guide challenges are only way to acquire experience points or XP. Ah, oh, so your wizarding level XP earned from challenges increase your level and power. 
Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Okay, cool. Ooh. It's like playing cards. Collecting our first guide page unlocks new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Okay. So what's my challenge? Uh, each challenge has tiers, special rewards unlock. Oh, I love awards! Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Cool! I like stuff like that. Especially cosmetic shit, because I'm a dork. It? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Yeah, I forgot all the pictures move. That's awesome. What a dashing mustache and top half to have. Biggest diggers! Sorry. My bad. This is my first day. Go easy on me, biggest diggers. That's seriously gonna no be my to the name of that spell for me. Well, you're walking too slow, woman. What a lovely dress. Biggest diggers! What is she doing? Aww. It's stopped moving, though. What is that, a duck-billed platypoop? Maybe you can bring her back to life. Biggest dick- Oh, god damn it! Why did it stop moving? Are these gonna fucking move- Are they gonna look at me, too? Roll. What? Roll what? Oh! Whoa! Is that like a puzzle or something? <laughs> You're about to stray too far- Oh shit! Sorry! I'm gonna get in trouble. Sorry. I wanna be naughty, but- I better not. Not on my first playthrough, anyway. It's usually, I like to ah, good timing. be I naughty in a second playthrough. To show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit. <laughs> flu, I like that. Your flu. field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Open the map with the touchpad. Okay. Ooh. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where the students and professors live. And includes the house, common rooms, and the great hole. Select this grand staircase region. Oh man, that's a big place. In, uh, in this view, you can see the flu flames available. Green flu. I like to say flu like that. Flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house, common room. Gray flu flames are ones you haven't discovered. Got it. Inside of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Uh, select the library annex region to continue. Professor Weas Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Press the right stick to rotate and fast travel. Oh, cool. You can fast travel. Nice. I appreciate any kind of fast travel in open world games after playing Dragon's Dogma. Because <laughs> you can't fast travel in that game until you put down markers. Quite the time After saver. you've discovered them. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Wow. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. So daintily down the steps. Do, 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 Always do, do, do. something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. <laughs> Everything's that moving. Be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Can I just I'd be like Dark Arts? And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor. Okay. Can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard, and a talented teacher. Is he good looking? Uh, what exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, what? we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. I wonder if all these professors and stuff are different for each class. Is it class? I don't know how to- house? Like there's Ravenclaw, uh, Gryffindor, 
uh, Hufflepuff and Slytherin. I think that's... I am a little rusty on Harry Potter stuff. Like I said, I've only seen the movies and not a, not all of them. I haven't read the books or anything, so... What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is that a is drink? The only all wizarding village in Britain. Ah. And is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all old enough to drink? The supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Butter beer, hell yeah. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds delicious. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Wait a minute, Weasley? Aren't the Weasleys the redheads? Is she like the great-great-grandmother of... What's his name? The red... <laughs> Ron? Ron Weasley? Is that his name? I... Oh my god, you guys are probably gonna make fun of me. But remember, I'm not the biggest Harry Potter person. It's not that I don't like Harry Potter, I really do. I'm just not that knowledgeable. What was her question? I wasn't paying attention. Suspicion that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and extended trip up to the castle. There is, in fact. Mm-hmm. That guy told me not to keep a secret, so... As much as I want to tell her, I'm not gonna tell her yet. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Yeah, he... Speak of the devil? <clears throat> Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly the facial animation and the voice acting is excellent. You chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. To Very kill us! Well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good day. Good day. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Great, yes, she's gonna be grading me. me. Damn it, I forgot I'm in school. You've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. As long as there's no algebra, I'm good to go. Well, I'm sure this is a pretty fucking long video, and I fucking love this game so far, but I think uh, I'm gonna wrap it up right about here. Let me know in the comments if you want me to continue. I really enjoyed playing this for you so far. And like I said, this is brand new. This is blind. And I hope everybody has a nice weekend or week or whatever. I never know how to end these videos. All right, later, bunholes.